Do you hate stinky balls? I want my balls to have braids. Manscaped is trusted by more than 10 million men worldwide for their trimmers, hygiene, and shower formulations, and premium boxers. Allow me to introduce the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, the Lawnmower 4.0 Pro, and the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. And yeah, you heard that right, there's levels to the groom game. Now I'm sure you are wondering what's the difference between each trimmer, so let's break it down. Starting off with the Lawnmower 3.0 Plus, right off the bat you have a premium feel with the packaging. Right out of the box, the 3.0 Plus, it feels great and features a modern and refined look build quality is quite impressive it feels sturdy and very well constructed it features an updated ceramic blade with a plastic guard that's rounded for an enhanced comfort incorporates a built-in guard to reduce the risk of those dreaded nicks and cuts on your sack one of the best features that the lawnmower 4.0 pro that is not on the lawnmower 3.0 plus is the multi-function on and off switch that can engage a travel lock feature when the trimmer is off, just click the on button three times fast and the LED indicator will show you that it's locked for safe travel. And as you guys should know, since I've been sponsored before by Manscaped, we have the Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. What's great about this is you're basically getting two different trimmers in one because of the razor. Because not only with the normal blade you get, you also get a foil blade. The foil blade is designed to leave you with a finish that's irresistibly sleek and utterly bare. It glides gently over your skin, capturing even the finest hairs for a flawless look that's ready to impress. Get your boys dialed in with a precision trim. When you use my code Garfield, you can get 20% off plus free international shipping worldwide when you go on manscaped.com. So trust me guys, your boys will thank you. So go check it out. Mingo is the best console player hands down. And if you disagree, you're just going to have to watch today's video. Now, this is the video series where I break down content creators, pro players, or rank stars gameplay to help you get better at Siege. So if you want to see anybody in the future, let me know by commenting down below and just liking the video. Let's get into it. You know what's crazy? Like, I'm recording this now, and a few days ago, I played in, like, one of my first controller tourneys, bro. And I faced the craziest stack. I think I played Mingo, Franklin, Jinxie, Stomping, and... Someone else, but we got smoked. Like first game we got 7-0'd, second game, uh 7-0 was actually on Clubhouse. Second game we got smoked three to seven on like border. Um, and it was like a pickup team. So it, it was really interesting to finally get to play against like players like this, and ex especially after reviewing them. So if you want maybe a review on the games that I played against them. Um, because I feel like I learned a lot about console players and how they played and honestly I was really impressed I wasn't even upset that I lost because that was expected to be honest I didn't go into that game like thinking I'm automatically going to lose but I'm like these guys have a lot of experience and like I really don't know what to uh, like expect so let's let's get into this I'm excited so I got sent this by one of his mods he basically told me he dropped 21 kills be a really good game to uh watch so let's check it out guys also, all of his links will be down in the description. Alright, I'm putting a claimer over it. I can get, I can get, I can get, I can Yeah, like when I played them on Clubhouse, bro, they controlled the map so well. Like their pre place was so good. I cannot hear these comms though. He's waiting for. He's waiting for. Oh I got it, I got God! What one one thing that I did notice about like when I played their team on Clubhouse is how quick they established map control and the pre place that they had. They banned Solus, so we were not able to get a, like find any of the pre plays quickly in the prep phase. Something I was noticing, I was having a hard time really setting up site and then trying to find cams. So they they were just so good with what they were doing, bro. If you guys can take one thing out of watching these tournaments, though, is just how on attack, how they pre place their drones and play off of it. Drone bottom red, drone bottom red. You, you want me to drone bottom red? Yeah, yeah, I got a drone watching oil pit and I'm about to walk in. 
Wait, no, bottom red's clear. We have a cam. We have a pre-play. I can go up red there. They saw me walk in. They saw me walk in. There's nothing red. He's like on the window waiting for me to walk. Hold my door. I mean, stomping the angry as shit. Stop it, I have a blank here. Listen, they have the mirror. They have the mirror on the sink. Damn, bro's angry as shit. God damn, it's the second round, bro. Oh my god. Can you, yo, he flanks back, flanks back. Can you ace this mirror? Can you ace the mirror? Oh my god, that missed? That's that tough. Positioning wise, if you look at how Mingo is, is taking, he, he's going really slow because he's trying to match the pace of his teammates and he's not trying to force anything like while he's pushing up something that w was a big problem with us when we we're attacking against this team is we would get like two initial frags and then it would be 5v3 and then the person that was directly entering which i think was hitman um he would like continue to try to take space and the problem with that is as uh attackers like especially console the meta is like having you know three people or two people drone while everybody else entries um it's you have to be able to match pace you have to be able to be there for a refrag you can't just kill two people and then continue to like try to take space because i'm still in spawn droning teammates still still like near outside droning so like what he's doing right now is so like just good to watch because it seems like he's matching everybody else's pacing He's like looking around to see what his teammates are watching and then he's picking a direct angle where he might get swung and he's calling out exactly what he's watching or what he's hearing. I'll drone it, I'll drone it. I don't have a drone. Someone has a drone in con. I have a drone, I have a drone in cash. I'll drone you right now. It's actually drone it. I can walk in lobby if you want to go to hatch. Yeah, Flores is going to the hatch so I can get a pinch on this guy. Unfortunate, he got smoked. Good refrag. Alright. Yeah, it's unwinnable against those zombies, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Yo, what's up with the the twenty five thousand? Like, like the numbering with these tourneys? Cause like, I generally thought it was twenty five thousand. Like, where are these numbers coming in from? Oh, but I put a claim on this top. Cause like I think it's like eleven dollars per person. I don't know how many teams sign up, but wouldn't it make more sense to have it like a little bit more expensive, just because people would actually play for their money at that point, and like the prize pool would be higher if it's not actually twenty five k. You got the other one. You got one Valcam, right? All right, I shot two. I shot two. I don't have any more bucks. I can shoot it open, maybe. Yo. Yo, stop. Get on my cam. <clears throat> Is bro c foring the claymore? Yo, Valkyrie trying to flank. <laughs> like, uh, to be fair, like, Clubhouse is impossible to flank from, from downstairs as soon as they have, like, stock area and all that. That's that's hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, man. I'm coming back now. Oh, god, that's the devious. Something I'm noticing with Mingo is like, even when I was playing against him, he would take his time. He would not try to rush anything. He was just putting cams and working his cams and i believe when i faced him he was using brava and bro was just sitting like stock hatch slash blue 
and bro was hacking literally everything and like he was just taking his time and like that was super frustrating because trying to refrag or to retake a one was nearly impossible uh against him because like he would wait until his teammates are actually executing and i feel like that's the separator between like a really high ranked player or like you know something like that and then like an average champ player it's like understanding the patience what your teammates are doing and playing off of them bro like i keep i'm gonna keep mentioning it like i i actually hate clubhouse in like comp on console at least like comp on console it feels impossible to to, to play this map like it like pff, i got fried so bad on this map that i don't even think i ever want to play this map again like in comp what the fuck? i don't see any valk cams i'm not sure if they have it that's so smart if you keep shooting i can walk down Dead. Bro, like anytime I watch a PlayStation player, I generally believe that something with their controllers makes it like better to play on than an Xbox. Because when, when I play on an Xbox, it feels so goddamn delayed. Like I think, like should I swap to PlayStation? Because like I have a PlayStation 5, I just don't, I, I haven't used it. I played Spider-Man a few times on it and did one Siege video. Like please actually let me know. I'm coming back to you, Casey. Wait, wait, wait. I'm coming back to you. Dummy, dummy, dirt, dummy, dirt. Give me two seconds. I'm a drone. I'm a drone for four. I'm a drone for four. Uh, they're dead. They're dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One standing up in the middle of triple. One dummy, triple wall, triple wall. Listen, I got your rotate. Wait, he's in. Wait, he's in moto. In moto, moto. Last two church, I think. No, I don't know. I don't know. One church, dead. Last one's church, 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 church. Let's go. Come on. I'm gonna hack. I'm gonna hack the Brava too. I mean, not the Brava. The Oh. <laughs> Like watching Brava and Comp is yeah, so I, even know enjoyable, bro. He's close, he's, he's close, swinging, swinging, swinging. Why is no, he close, close, another one, another one in, in cash, in cash. He might back up. He was playing Condor. He's playing Condor. Okay, I need someone to hold me. I need to, I need to come hold. I like that he corrected the call though, because like calling out specific positions sometimes can be super overwhelming. So I like that he corrected himself. Coming. Just stay alive. Wait, wait. I'm hacking the Moosey. I'm hacking the Moosey. I'm gonna hold it. No one's in there. No one's in con. You're good. No one's in con. Once again, I, I don't mean to pause this. I, I'm just trying to emphasize him calling to slow the hell down is the best thing he could be doing. He's controlling the offense and he knows that he has time on his side because they have so much of the map control. You know, stomping is playing highway. They, they, there's no way he's going to get swung. Like they have so much map control and they're cutting off so many lines of sight that they have the time on their hands where they can utilize their utility and you know really get a good pinch down because the defense right now they're just going to be scrambling to try to get picks they're going to be over aggressing they're going to be swinging some stupid shit um and and that's why like i had such a hard time playing against these guys because they're aggressive they're fast but they take their time and they work the util and the team that i was playing on like it, it was it was really just like we we're, we don't have chemistry so it felt super overwhelming i really enjoy console comp though I would really love to actually get really good in it and like get my team or like if I do keep stay with the team like really keep that presence of like you know chemistry because like we we struggled so much because we don't know each other. Should I it's main? such a pain that it's not main. not having any chemistry. Or stomping, you could do it. I'm thinking do it low key. Close well, right. Yes, it's hacked. It's hacked. It's hacked. And I hacked bar cam. Wait, what does Mozzie look like here, guys? I'm joining stopping. I'm joining stopping. One gym, one gold. One's top name. 
What's on the Logi desk? I go. Reloading. I can flash. I'm gonna go to the hatch. I can flash Logi. I can flash Logi out. Wait, did they not punch that mirror? Why? Oh, okay, they did. Damn. Yeah, he he needed to tell tell him to swing, but I guess he might have assumed, and he kind of just uh, tunnel vision, which is totally totally fine. But yeah, they needed to go for that two v one because they know exactly where he's at. He's stuck in that corner of behind that mirror, and he's reloading. So pushing up that aggressive is is not bad. You don't always need to try to get the plant down, especially in situations like that where it's a two v one and one person has to plant, or you'll lose a round. It's a pain in the ass. You know. I remember a few videos back on Oregon. I think it was Oregon. I kept wondering why people were only like bunkering downstairs and nobody was roaming because like on PC, it's very common for to have some type of extension. But after playing the tourney, I, I realized of why it's impossible to find these drones. Like, like, especially without Solus. I get it. Like, see, they're even they're they're bunkering downstairs. Make sure we reinforce dirt, Jason. I don't know if it's reinforced. Like, That's a good a zombie. Do you guys think banning Ash on like a map where you're going to be bringing mirror lot it would be a good ban? So I'm trying to think who else would be a good counter ban to like the mirror. But I guess I could just ban Wamai. Oh, what is that gonna do? Like, does Zof charges? I don't believe Zof charges deal with mirrors. So we need someone on the blue mirror. Turn out. Getting Marra. He's on. He's on. I'm good job, or er, Franklin. I'm not. I'm not main. You have a C4 to deny default, right, FXC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, we have the main mirror, right? We have the main mirror? We have the main mirror. On the hatch, on the hatch, on the hatch. Okay, we have the main mirrors. As soon as they drop, you just C4 default at XC. Yeah, they're completely like, I, I don't care about all these mirrors. Yeah, these guys are, are thinking from the looks of the way that they're attacking, they're going to drop Moto. They might have somebody go down blue and then they're going to rush main and dirt. From the looks of it, that's what I'm gonna predict. Yep. Oh. That was such a scuffed execute, not gonna lie. Where is he? Oh, bro, fried him. He's on the blue mirror. Yeah, that's a really good cross. Is nobody playing the gym castle? Oh god, bro. Good shot. Good shot. Oh my god. This motherfucker has no like no recall on anything. No, it's blue I don't wanna make noise. Come back, Mingo. I think I'm 
flash me. Yo, he's playing this. He just played that so well, man. Like, not panicking while being flashed. He's, he knew that he had that mel there. Like, wow. Oh, that timing. Still got the garage cam. Oh, he fucked us, rotated stuff. I got the logic cam. Now they bring a camera this time. Can you imagine if they if if siege added an operator that can half reinforce? Is that reinforcement on single? I was thinking about how much of a pain of the, pain in the ass it is. Oh, beautiful pre fire. I'm reloading. I think it's obvious, by the way, just, just so you guys know. I don't know, like, how, like some people might be watching that's new. When he throws impacts and does shit like that and asks people to like shoot for him, it's just uh, to mess up sound indication. So people might get baited and they might think that someone's watching somewhere else. That's that's all that is, by the way. Jesus, bro. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm trying. You're putting, bro. Mingo is carrying the boats right now. Now this man's nasty. Like out of anybody that I watched, that's my bad, Stomp. I couldn't tell. Like I've watched quite a bit. I watched Aiden Tax. I watched Stomping. I watched Jinxie. I watched. I think out of anybody so far, Mingo might be my favorite player to watch. Like because like I I can I can see why he's doing the stuff he's doing. I can like read his mind. He is very calm. He seems very humble. He doesn't seem like he gets very angry, so like I, I like I like what I'm watching to be honest. Oh his arm, that sucks. Oh yeah. Oh, how does he how does Flores not kill you? But oh, dude, such a good pre-fire. How the fuck you get up here? <laughs> I don't know, bro. I'll put it down right here. Bro, you gotta you gotta break it and jump at an angle. Poor guy. Yeah, bro's gonna have to turn into a goddamn goat to win this round, bro. No way he 1v3s this. Oh, oh my god! This crosshair placement's so good! No, this is fucking talent, bro. I think he's going garage. I'm pretty sure he just dropped into a garage. Where's that drone? He's turning to garage like cat uh B side right now. It's on the cat floor, cat floor. Breach ran in, ran in! Green box, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, behind green box. Y'all got the cam? Yep. Planning behind green box. 15 seconds left. Yeah, frozen on fake. Still behind green box. Crouch, peeking. Nah, bro is so fucking good, bro. Like, 
No, no, like, I don't even give a fuck if someone says dick riding, bro. Like, that's just talent. Like, bro is actually so fucking good. Like, his crosshair placement, his recoil control, his positioning, his calm, like, bro's good. I'm full flash. I'm full I mean, flash. I mean, I mean, I mean, oh my! Oh my god! Full fucking. Bro literally put them on his back and carried them to that victory. Just. I don't even know what else to say, man. I, I think so far out of anybody I've watched, Mingo is is hands down probably my favorite person to watch. Bro is just so fucking good on controller. Like, wow. <laughs> now, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure that you guys like, sub, and comment. Be sure to go check out Mingo. All of his links will be down in the description. Go show that man some love. And you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching.